I'm with His Excellency Sheikh Sultan Al Qasimi. He's going to tell me about Sharjah. A lot of people are very, very familiar with the United Arab Emirates. They're familiar with Dubai and they're familiar with Abu Dhabi. But Sharjah, probably not as well known. But it has a lot of very, very beautiful product to offer. Sheikh Sultan, you've got a lot of new developments this year. A mosque that's opening its door to non-Muslims, a new hotel. But first, tell me about Sharjah. What is it special for? Well, Sharjah is a, it, it's a different emirate, it's a unique emirate, it's uh, uh, the cultural capital of the, uh, of the United Arab Emirates, cultural capital of the Arab world, cultural, uh, the cap cultural capital of the Islamic world in 2014. So it's uh, totally uh, different than the other emirates. It's uh, more into culture, more into uh, tradition, um, different uh, museums, over 20 museums. Uh, uh, heritage areas, cultural uh, areas, uh, lots of um, cultural events, uh, programs uh, all year long. So it's it's a very uh, unique and very active uh, emirate in the cultural aspect. You're looking for a very different type of tourist from Dubai and from Abu Dhabi. Well, most of our uh, tourists are actually families. Uh, they, they love to come to uh, Sharjah for the uh, experience, uh, for the uh, museums, for the uh, desert safari, for the uh, um, East Coast, mountain climbing, um, sea diving. Uh, we've got lots of things to offer for different uh, tourists. Uh, but basically, most of our uh, tourists are families who love to enjoy the sun and the, and the emirate itself. One of the problems with Sharjah until now has been an absence of enough hotel beds to develop a strong tourism product. You're addressing that problem? Uh, definitely. We, we, we actually see that uh, we're growing gradually. We, we are not uh, jumping into, uh, you know, um, building uh, tens of hotels uh, in, in one or two years, but we are growing with the growth of the uh, tourism in Sharjah. Um, we're also upgrading our infrastructure, our airport uh, that can handle tourists, so uh, everything is growing on a very steady basis. A lot of people come to the Middle East, they come to the Emirates, they look for the big cities. I'm told that the desert is much more beautiful than the city and you've some of the most beautiful parcels of desert. Uh, definitely, we're unique in that way because uh, most of our buildings are uh, very uh, uh, Islamic uh, style uh, buildings. Uh, desert is very different uh, to what uh, other deserts you can see everywhere. Um, in, especially in Sharjah, it's uh, very well known as a perfect place for uh, desert safari, for uh, uh, you know, enjoying uh, a day out in the desert. And finally, Sheikh Sultan, have you a little secret place in Sharjah that you go yourself when you want to get away from it all? Is there any little hidden treasure you'd like to share with us? Uh, I wouldn't say one uh, place, but you've got lots of places. Uh, the, the thing with Sharjah, it's, uh, it's the only emirate with the two coasts, on the east coast and the west coast. And it's the only emirate uh, neighboring every other emirate. Uh, so uh, it, it's um, everywhere you go, you'll find something nice there. From uh, shopping from uh, enjoying the sun, the sand, the beach, the uh, uh, sports activities, everything you like you'd find in Sharjah. Thank you very much Sheikh Sultan Al-Qasim.